Hey, hey guys, welcome back. Episode two of the new and improved Bohemian server. And today is all about chiseling because look at this weather. It's gross. It's cold. It's bright and early in the morning and it's minus 20. This is the lowest it's been. I'm recording this intro after I did most of this episode. And so it wasn't this cold during the episode, but it is getting nasty out here. So we're going to go sit by a fire, do some chiseling. See you later. I hope you enjoy. Okay, well, it is a very dark and cold wintry night here on the Bohemian server. It is negative 14, the middle of the night. I have literally been getting us prepped to do some chiseling. We do have a new mod here on the server. It's QP Chisel Tools. Um, and so I've been kind of playing with it. I did make um, every make all the tools um, that we needed for it. So there is several tools. There's this iron hand wedge that moves them uh, moves them around after you've chiseled them. This is the iron pantograph, which allows you to copy and paste chisel blocks. And then this one is the iron hand planer. Uh, I don't know this one very well yet. I don't know it. This one is the iron ladder maker, which is pretty amazing let me run over and show you exactly what that thing does because we already have used it once while it's dark it's super cold out here and it's very obviously snowy as you can see we're gonna go upstairs um so salty and i finished this as well this was a chiseling project she started on i had chiseled this in our last bohemian world and she's been so sweet to like try to make me feel like <laughs> we're getting back to where we were because I was so depressed about our world being lost. But um, this is the new uh, banister that Salty chiseled and then I copied using the pantograph. But here, and I know it's dark guys because it's night. Um, look at the crystal. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but right here, you can get up into the loft without a ladder because what you did what we could do is make this iron ladder maker we i haven't done this top block right here that one is done but this one isn't okay so what you do is you have to have this this block chiseled and then you take the iron ladder maker and just right click and now that block is climbable which is pretty amazing. So I don't want to forget my lantern here. So anyway, now you can have invisible ladders with this tool, uh, with this mod. So we are working on this. We're working on pieces, to, um, little pieces at a time. But somebody did, Dan commented on my uh, thumbnail picture for the episode one. What was happening is when I was over here building on my castle, um, this little section right here is going to be a chapel. And as you can see right there, I was digging down because I thought what other place to go into the dungeon that is better than going down in through the chapel. So I was digging down there and then I was chasing some silver and I found a huge pocket of these beautiful, large milky of uh, the milky quartz crystals. So that was quite a fun, nice find. Okay, it is pretty rifty out there, and it is minus 17 now. I'm going to eat really quick, and I'm also going to uh, take this in off of my offhand because I want to show you guys something, and I want to test something. So this is the pantograph. You see that I've used it quite a bit. This is an iron pantograph. Like I said in episode one, uh, Salty did find a good amount of iron. I have emptied the iron mine out, though, so we're going to have to find some more. We have a lot of it right now, though. So we made this iron pentagraph. I have used this on the banister that I just showed you. But what we're going to do is I have done I have done all the prep. The outside is chiseled, as you can see. And then I did the outside chiseling before I knew um, about the chisel tools or before we had it. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pantograph and we're gonna push F. These are the different mod, these are diff different modes you can do. I don't know all of them yet, but we're just gonna take a snapshot and I'm gonna right click that snapshot. Now that I want, I know that I want that block underneath this window, 
So I'm going to press F and I'm going to replace it. I'm going to right click and there we go. And we can do that under all of the windows now because it took a picture of that one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around and do the same copy mode on all the windows underneath. Since I have one done now, there's uh, this is brand new to me and I don't know if um, I'm doing this the fastest way. But now we're going to do this right hand one. I'm going to take a picture take a picture and I'm going to go over to all of them and oh okay wait a minute what happened aha so because it was on a different plane that's what it was okay we got this we got this I'm still learning so now let's go to the side one and let's not forget that it has to be flipped so we're going to take a picture and we are going to do that on both sides and then I'm going to use this one the regular chisel to flip it okay uh, and then this one and then we'll photo we'll uh, copy it again I have to really think about this because it's so new to me and flip it. Okay, here we go. Uh, this sure can make things easier, really make things easier. And let's paste it right here and just see if we can figure out how to get it down. Now we should be able to like maybe mirror that block. No. Um, we should be able to rotate it. Ha! Oh, that's pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Let's see what that did to the outside. Okay, well, I mean, that's, that's not right, but it's close. <laughs> it's close. It could take, it, I could use some small adjustments on this. Like I said, I'm learning this mod for sure. It's a lot to learn. Okay, I'm gonna try to copy this corner right here and paste it to the other corner. Um, yeah, let's try it. Let's photocopy this. And then let's go over here to this one and paste it in. And then we're gonna flip it. <clears throat> that <clears throat> I don't I don't think I like the way that's working this may be a too di a difficult project for me to work this on yeah because that window looks a little bit different than this one okay so I'm going to straighten these up really quick and then we're going to move on to a better to another spot I think what I'm deciding is part of the problem is that my my um my what I'm doing outside is a little bit th different than what I'm doing inside. So I think what I need to do is, because they look a little bit different, they're not... So I think what I need to do is just do one side and then fix um, fix the side that is the least. I think I'll do... I think I'll do that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So I think what we can do is we can copy this, let's see. We can copy this window to these two because they're very similar. So let's give that a go. Let's take the panograph and we're gonna have to remember that we're gonna have to spin it. We're gonna um, photocopy this one. And then I'm gonna use it here, here, here. And here and then I'm gonna flip them all like that okay well we're just gonna continue this and see if we can like do clean up details later uh, so let's go copy this one right here I probably picked too hard of a project to do this on Paste, paste, let's see if that worked first. Okay. And paste, paste, flip them. Okay. 
that's pretty good. Now let's do the top. Snapshot. And paste. And then flip them till they look right. That doesn't work at all. Maybe that's it. That's the outside. That's the inside. Outside. Inside. Yeah, that worked. We're going to have to do some straightening up outside, though, I guess. Picture of that corner. And put it there. And put it... Oh! No, no, no. Okay, so I made a mistake. So we can undo that. Right? Oh my god, so frustrating. Okay, we're going to take a picture of this one again and fix it. And we're going to put it right here. Sorry guys, I am like so new at this stuff. Okay, we're going to photo that. And we're going to put it there and there. Now let's try to flip them. There. Ah, it's right there. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's good. We're getting this. We're getting it. Do this one now. Photo. Paste. Paste. Oops. Right there. Okay. Let's do the upper corners. Let's do this one first. And then this corner. And then flip them. Flip them. And then I think this one needs to be flipped. I don't know. There we go. Okay, let's see what these look like from the outside. Uh, uh, not bad. I'm not sure what these side things are, but I'm not sure I dislike them. Um, let's get some food. Okay, I should very easily be able to um, copy this window over to this window. And so let's just, this one, these three should all be the same. I hope. So I'm taking a copy and I'm reshaping it to here. These should all actually be limestone bricks, but I didn't know that before I actually started. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's do this side windows. Let's do, let's do it up this side. Okay. Okay, that doesn't work. So let's take this one and see if we can mirror it. If that will... Uh, okay, let's go look see what that looks like outside. Oh, what a mess. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter what it looks like outside because I got the shutters there. This one I'm realizing I should be able to copy straight over. So let's try that really quick while I thought about it. I photocopy that one and I should be able to bring it right over because the orientation is correct on it. Yeah, this one will be easy for me to copy. 
Okay, let's go look at that from the outside. Uh, looks pretty good, except for those weird random bricks that are kind of in the middle, which I'm going to try to live with maybe and see if I want to chisel any more in there, because I kind of like that pick, that peeking out. And this is turning out pretty good. I'm going to figure this out. I'll slowly figure it out. I, I need to do more work on this. I don't know what to do with it yet. But I think that these tools will make for a much faster chiseling projects. Okay, guys, I think after fussing with this all night long, I think I'm done with the windows. Uh, that took me a while. I had to do a lot of little tweaking after copying with the pantogram, pantograph, and then, um, and I, I, I'm not sure I'm done up here yet, but I have done everything I can. This is the inside. These dirt piles are my so are my furniture markers. Um, so, and then um, then the outside. Let's go out and take a look. It is a super frosty morning. I have decided to go with the bricks around the outside of the little shutter things, and they are done as well. I have done a lot of tweaking, like I said, after using the chisel tools. So, uh, oops, uh, there is a part that's not done. Okay, got that done. Build that back in. There's the back window. And then this is the little side window off the living room. They're all bricked in and all done. Jeez Louise, you guys. Uh, learning something new. It's like teaching an old dog new tricks. But I like it a lot. I think I'm going to try to get rid of some of these little edges um, of the bricks. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. So let me know what you think. Next, we're going to work on some chiseling of um, some furniture. Okay, guys, the next thing I want to do is I want to chisel a table and it's going to be. Um, it's going to be three wide. I'm going to make it modular again, very similar to what I did in. Um, my season three, I'm going to add, I'm going to make it out of um, the slate rock and then the tops are going to be limestone rock. So I'm going to start this exactly the way I used to. I'm going to chisel a full table. Actually, I'm going to chisel the, the, the end and the middle, and then we will add these blocks to the, the limestone to it. Oh, you know what? I'm wondering if I should polish the limestone. I think that might be a better choice. Let's polish a couple of these. And then let's check that out before we we can we can see what the difference is. So let's going to go we're going to go back and add a polished one to it as well. It's a little darker. Um but if we Take that and let's just take out some of the center and compare whether I like the polished or this better. Wow, there's not much difference. I, I think I might actually like the just the lighter one better. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to use the lighter one and then this is going to the top is all going to be limestone with a little inset of let's do something else. We're going to take all of this out. This is all going to come out right here. Let's do this. Oops. Let's do this one. And then back to this one. And then we're going to figure out how we want to do. Let's start with. Let's start with the top. Let's take out this edge. Because I don't want it to be. Number one, I want it. I don't want it to touch the. Um, other blocks. So we're going to. This is going to be the outer edge of the table. We don't want it to be as wide. But you know what? I gotta figure out if I can still set something on it. Because I want to be able to set like candles or a bowl or whatever on it. Can I? Okay, I can do that. But that looks kind of bad, doesn't it?
So let's put back, let's, let's put back this edge. But this is all going to be limestone here. So let's put back this edge and we'll have the table go all the way out to the edge, but we'll try to make it a little more intricate um, underneath. I think I wanted to have an edge all the way around like this. Maybe if I connected these, they would look a little bit better. Let's take that out, connect that there, and connect that there. And I actually think this needs to go down one, so I'm going to take this out like that. What about that? I like that a lot. Let's take that out. Yeah, see, that's pretty nice. I really like that. It's a very simple leg, but I really like that a lot. Okay, let's do that on the other side. I'm wondering if it just looks like it needs more support. Something like that. I think I might like that a little bit better. This looks a little, um, just like a little weak, I guess. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so there is the table. We're going to take the rest of this is that one edge of the table. We're going to take this out too. This all needs to come out because this is the edge. Now let's go ahead and do um, the center part is not going to have legs. So this one is going to be easy. And we're going to take out the edge. And we'll go take out the edge of the other one in a minute, but we're going to take out some sections in here for limestone. Kind of thinking about adding a little bit of detail along here like this, um, just to make it a little more intricate. Do it like that right along the edges doesn't work with the length of it the way I had it set up. So one, two, one, two. Now let's switch it back to limestone. There we go. How about this end? I'm going to leave the end like that. Okay, so now let's get the pantograph out. This, I think this, that doesn't need to be a chiseled block. Oh, these are polished. Oh, okay, excellent. I did polish them. Yep, I did. Okay, so let's go. I got those slate rocks a long time ago. So let's go and do um, snapshot it. And now, oh, I'm hungry. Chiseling is hungry work. I'm going to have to go over to the community center and get more. Let's copy it over here. And. Oh, that didn't have the. Damn it. That didn't have the limestone added. Okay, well, that's easy to add. And then we're going to go to F and. Mirror it, I think. No. Rotate it. There we go. Rotate it. So I think that if I go and add the limestone in here, let's practice this. If I go and add the limestone in, then I go copy this again. Let's just take another picture of it. And then copy it over here. No, why didn't it do... The limestone. Okay, let's try it again. Take a picture of it. Copy it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, well, there's some things I, I need to learn about this a little bit. We're going to rotate it, and we'll put the limestone in by hand. Yay, there's my table. That looks really nice. Okay, let's put it let's put it in the correct spot. Um, where's my pickaxe? One piece at a time. It's going to go there. That's going to go there. And that's going to go there. And we're going to do the exact same table over there, but I have to go get some food. Oh, I don't have my lantern. It's dark. Okay, so what I'm going to do now to test this out, I can put my bowl, bowl on there. Very nice. I love it. Okay, now I'm going to do this to test this out. I need three of these, and I need three of these. So we're going to play with the pantograph again. We're going to put these down. I'm going to chisel them. I'm going to add the limestone. Okay, now we should be able to copy this and snapshot it right to over here. Why is, okay, I did the outside block over here. Look at that. So why is it not adding the limestone? I don't understand that. It's disappointing. I don't understand why it's not adding the limestone. Okay, well, let's continue because I can add the limestone um, myself. Okay, it added the limestone there. And there. Weird. Weird. Voila, that one done. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make that exact table and we're going to make uh, two of them, one for right here and one for right here, only it's going to be one block wide. It's only going to be one block. So we're going to put this down. We're going to chisel it and I'm going to add the limestone again. We're going to see, okay. Now I'm going to take the pantograph. I'm going to copy one of these ends and hope that the limestone goes in. I don't understand what's going on. Okay, limestone. Then we're going to change this and make it and put the ends of the, with the regular chisel and put those legs on this side. Okay, I'm going to take it down to look at it, see if I did it right. That looks pretty nice, looks pretty good. Okay, so we need another one of those now. So I'm going to put this down and chisel it and add the limestone again. And then I'm going to use the pantograph to copy it. Take a picture, and there we go. Very nice, much easier than the workbench. Okay, we have one last chiseling project for this episode, and that is going to be a modular sofa of some sorts. I have rearranged this a little bit in uh, the time since I've made the tables. I'm gonna make a three wide one here, and a two wide one there. No, two, three, and two. So I need to make a two wide one and then put a middle in it. So um, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chisel these, these two right here, and these two. I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to start this by, um, well, I have to start it by adding limestone because the limestone is going to be the cushions. Okay, they all have their limestone now. Now what I'm going to do, I know this is going to seem strange, but I don't think it will be. 
I think I'm going to take, I'm going to copy this because I want this leg and I don't, I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it right here, 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 and here. I know it's weird. Then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate some of these. I'm going to rotate that like that. I'm going to rotate this one like that. And then I am going to take out these legs. Okay, because I want this to sit back on the block as much as possible, um, it's two blocks deep, but I don't want it to be this deep. I'm going to mess around with something here. I'm going to take these, these two off for now. I'm going to mess with, um, where'd it go? Okay, I'm going to mess with this. I want to, I'm, I, I haven't, uh, we're going to really try something different here. Um, uh, something I don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, I'm wondering if I can scoot this back. I don't want it to be this high either, but I'm not going to worry about the height right now. I'm thinking, let's, that's fine. Let's try this. Let's scoot this back. See that this um, iron hand wedge, you can scoot it back within the block. And as long as you're still within the block, you won't lose any voxels here. So look, if I scoot it back one more, I'm at the edge of the block. Now, if I scoot it back one more time, I will actually lose, I will start losing the voxels in this block. But that way I have it put, the legs pushed back. To a pretty good. Now let's, let's do that exact same thing here. Now it's kind of sitting in the middle of each of those blocks. You can see where that block is. It's not. Okay. So now I need to figure out the top and I, now the whole top is going to basically come off, but at least I have like a, a platform um, to work on. Let's go back to the chisel because now I want it to be slab height. So that means this whole top is going to have to come off see now the little foot matches that's so cute okay so now the back um I, actually this is going to come down as well so the back we're going to take out do i want the back that do i want it that deep okay so that is the level of the seat plus i'm going to add the, the kind of a cushion at, out of the limestone but what i want to decide is and i think i'm going to leave that entire leg like that i just don't know how i am going to do the back yet okay this is what i've done so far um and now i can remember that i can put another block up here but i'm 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 i may not be putting another block back here i am not sure i'm not i'm not i don't think i'm super happy with this but what i want to do right now is i want to photograph this and then copy it over to here just so I can mess with it a little bit as a double. And then I think I'll take this and I'll see if I can mirror it. Is that right? No. No, 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 no. Come on, go turn back upside down. Can we flip it now? Okay, there we go. Excellent. So let's do um, this one to this as well. Let's photograph this one. Oh, I'm hungry. 
Yeah, it wasn't much left in that bowl. Ah, the chiseling makes me so hungry. Okay, pantograph, photograph, and then copy. And then rotate. Let's see if we can just rotate it. Um, no, that doesn't work. Let's flip it like this. There we go. Okay, that is really ugly. So far, I hate that. I love the idea that the leg is kind of sticking up out the back, though. Um, I, so I do think it needs, like... Okay, I'm going to do something real quick here. Okay, I put an arm on it. I move the seats together and I put an arm on it. Like this. And that is better. Uh, let's just go ahead and see if this looks better just as a... And then these, these center like little, like big buttons are gonna be off because I moved everything. So we can change that. And then I also, yeah, that did that. Okay. Um, that's pretty cute. I, I think that I might want to soften these corners a little bit. Um, because they just look like knee grabbers or shin grabbers. Um, and I think that if we did that back there, we should probably do that back here but that doesn't work with the, the way the leg is so okay now what about up here right now it kind of looks like a piano <laughs> like you like you would sit back here at a piano or something that looks a little weird it doesn't look like that here I mean it doesn't make me think of that here Okay, I'm going to try something here. Um, I am going to push this this way, and we're going to see where does this block? Uh, it's going to push the, oops. It's going to push this off. So this, I'll have to redo this, but this is where, the, this is the last part of this block. But what's going to happen, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to do this one thing at a time. And see it move, it's getting rid of this. It'll get rid of a uh, blank line now, it should. Right? And. Now, if I did it, it's going to get rid of. But I think that that may be thin. That's thin enough, maybe. Let's try one more. It'll get rid of this row now. This row. Okay, so now let's take, oops, now let's take out this row and see if we can do something with the back because it looks better to me now. Okay, well, this is what I've kind of come up with. I made it so it did, wasn't so matchy match back here and I left it to where it um, has like an, a little open area and I um, lessened the width of this kind of frame back here. But it does leave the whole back legs there that matches the tables. And I I actually am pretty happy with this. Um, so what I want to do, I, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> um, and so it's four, it's four wide. So we're going to put um, one down there and one down there. I am going to add, this is going through a lot of my materials. We're going to do that. And then we need to chisel, those are chiseled. And we need to add blocks to these. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy them over to this one. So let's do this one first. And put that right here. And rotate it. Oops. That. Okay, let's copy this one. And put it right here. And rotate it. And then let's copy this one. 
This is so fun, you guys. I am really having a, hard, a good time with this pantograph, really. Um, put that there and flip it. And then one more. And copy and rotate it. Okay. So the one thing I'm not totally thrilled about is the fact that it that I did push it back and that it doesn't line up with the tables. But I honestly think that that's going to be okay. I this flower back here is kind of driving me crazy. I don't like like it there. And I'm not going to like it crooked either. Okay, so there we have our two tables and our uh, two sofas. Oh, I like it. So I have decided that I'm just going to do one more of the uh, little settee and one more table. So the table is going to go there and the settee is going to go there. The nice thing about this is it's so easy to copy and paste these things into place once you have it all set up. There we go. Now we have a nice little seating area. Everybody has a place to set their drink and we can all sit and talk and be warm. I am so happy with this, you guys. So happy with it. So I'm going to call this video here. Thank you guys for your support. Uh, I'm so glad to be back on the Bohemian server. Uh, Salty has been working all day and I've been not feeling 100%. Uh, so I've just been chiseling all day. And that's why this episode is without the wonderful Salty. Miss you, Salty. Hope you've had a good day. Thanks, you guys, so much. Please sub. I'm trying to get to 1,000, to 1,000 subs. Um, and like and share and comment. That all helps my channel immensely. If, if a video, if people are liking a video and YouTube knows it, they'll share it. So thank you, guys. Take care. Stay safe out there.